So recently I've been trying to figure out the best possible way to build with the new high school years expansion pack. But then I was like, wait, use the base game and the new pack by itself and see if you can make a nice little family home in the new world of Copperdale. And so that is what I'm doing today. But I do want to give a huge shout out to EA Creator Network for giving me a copy of the high school years expansion pack. So thank you to EA for giving me a copy of this game. But let's go ahead and hop into today's build. So my first initial thought for this entire build was trying to figure out how I was going to make a nice little quote unquote starter family home in Copperdale with a two bedroom, semi two and a half bathroom home. And I think I did it justice. I mean, I wanted to do something really small and nothing too big. So I used one of the empty lots and actually the only empty lot in Copperdale that you can actually use. Cause I didn't want to bulldoze any of the other builds until I was like fully familiar with the whole entire world and the townies. And then I could demolish everything to my liking. But I wanted to build something very small and I believe it's on a 20 by 20 lot in Copperdale. So if you want to download this build, it'll be on the gallery later today because by the time I'm posting this video, I don't think no one has like access to the pack, like to the public. So I'll upload it like probably at a later date so you all can have it along with a couple of room builds I've been making with this pack. Like you have no idea. You have no idea. I've been waiting and dying to use the new like streamer kit, like computer and gamer chair and desk for this pack for my sim self and just for like seeing what I can honestly, honestly do. Because if you didn't know, if you didn't know, there's actually a lot of yellow in this pack, which makes me very, very happy. As you all know, I love the color yellow. And what's funny is that there's a gamer chair that's kind of like mine, but it's also like a yellow computer, a yellow desk, a yellow book. It's a lot of yellow. And that makes me happy. I mean, I'm not wearing yellow right now, but probably in the next video, you'll see me wearing yellow, making a yellow room build. It's just kind of a win-win scenario in my opinion. So the more yellow we have, the better. Start a petition right now, link down below, check it out. It's um, on my website, springsims.com forward slash sign my petition for more yellow in the Sims 4, please and thank you. Long URL, but it works. Anyway, regardless, I wanted to build a two bedroom, two bathroom starter home here in Copperdale, mainly for like the idea of like using the new items and kind of getting familiar with, with everything. But what I really love about this is like all the new building items are so good. I love the customizable doors that you have like different swatches based on like the theme that you want, the computers, the desks, the chairs, the different like curtains too. However, the one thing I was kind of adamant about was like the curtains because sometimes curtains do not fit the frame of windows at all. And since my house was on a foundation, I couldn't use the window where your teens can like sneak out of the window and kind of, you know, break curfew or whatever. So I didn't use it in this build, but I probably will use it in a different build where it's not on a foundation. That way it'll work better. Um, I had a few like weird glitches with the game at first because of, you know, new game, new game update, stuff was bound to break, but I kind of made it work in my favor. I really wanted to make sure that this home had everything it needed, like, you know, the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, which is not that much in there. Honestly, to be honest, I kind of forgot that I was going to put in another bathroom because the way I made the house, it was so small that I couldn't really technically add in like a shower or a tub or anything. So I had to like take out something from the second floor to make the bathroom, which we'll see later in the video, of course, at the end. But I definitely wanted to make it where it's a new family moved into Copperdale, wanted to kind of get a fresh new start, but they didn't really know anyone or where to live, but they came across this one lot that was empty. So they built their own home from the ground up with the little simoleons that they had that they moved from St. Machuno to Copperdale to kind of start a new life, like I said. And their, you know, their their lovely child here, their child is going to Copperdale High. And they are actually gonna be in like their second, you know, year. So they're like a sophomore in high school. I don't know what it's called in other countries, but in the US, we have like freshman, senior, junior and like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, but second year is like, you know, their sophomore year, 10th grade. And so they're going into like that new era. They're deciding where, what they want to do, whether it's cheerleading, football, or, you know, chess club or computer club. They don't really know what club they want to do. They don't know who they want to be. And they're trying to discover themselves in like a newfound way. So I wanted to give them pretty much stuff that could identify them. So I made them like a gamer because I gave them a, a streamer setup. They made videos online when they, you know, lived in St. Machina for quite some time, made small little videos. They have like quite a, you know, a significant following, I would say. 
Um, about like 30,000 followers on Instagram, which is like really cool. Um, they're not really technically famous, famous per se, but they are like getting up there. Now considered a notable newcomer with the 30,000 followers that they have, you would think they would be higher, but no, but, um, their parents did not allow it. And so they kind of hid it from them for a while until they were like fully ready and understood the whole like aspect of everything, making money online. But they made videos here and there. They got some sponsorships here and there throughout their time living in the city. But when they moved to Copperdale, they were kind of doing like a fresh new start, kind of deciding who they wanted to be as like a person, as a content creator, as a streamer, and who, what kind of friends they wanted to make. So they're using this like this general platform to raise awareness for things that they want to do and make content that they want to make and hopefully make friends along the way. And I think going to Copperdale High will allow them to give... Um, those things for them, you know, but I, I don't know. I just feel so excited. I've never felt more pumped in my life to play an expansion pack in so long. Like you have no idea. Like I'm going to have a let's play that'll be coming out very soon of like navigating high school, university, and like young adulthood. And it's called, it's called finding yourself because in, in life, you're trying to find who you want to be. You're trying to find yourself. And something about high school is about self-exploration, self-discovery, and finding who you want to be as a person. And all along with like university, you're doing something that you love, something that you want to go into or not, depending on, you know, where you live, who you are and who your parents are, I guess. Um, and then like young adulthood after, you know, university, you're going out into the real world and doing things that you want to do, doing things that you want to create, people you want to see, people you want to, you know, hang out with. Cause there's like the new sexual orientations that we got in the Sims 4 a couple days ago where we're able to have like woohoo partners. I don't know why I did air quotes, but we have woohoo partners and we can also have where we can be sexually attracted to, you know, other Sims, whether it's a man or woman, we can be romantically involved or not with literally anyone. So it's really cool to see like, you know, Arrow and Ace, you know, people out in the world are feeling represented in the Sims 4. So it feels really, really good to have more representation in the game itself. I don't know. I just find like The Sims 4 is like that one game that I can always feel so happy about and like be who I want to be. And it makes me so happy that people can feel happy with this game. I don't know, but I don't know. I, the high school pack is just so freaking good that I just cannot stop talking how excited I am for it because I love family gameplay more than anything, but I also love how I can start from like a very small household of one Sim and then grow that from you know, two, three, four, ten different Sims in one single generation and then have like, you know, more kids and grandkids and all the other stuff and move to different worlds, experience different things and be able to kind of show what I can create. I don't know. It's it's just a fun game for me. I, I've been playing this game for like literally all my life. I'm not joking. All my life. I've been playing this game for 22 years, almost 23 and it's so weird that this game is this old. I'm only 26 years old, but the fact that this game is growing even more and we're almost eight years into The Sims 4 starting next month or in two months actually is scary. Scary, different, but exciting all at the same time. So that's what I'm thinking. But enough about me, enough about my, my life, whatever. But like I said, I wanted to definitely have a household and a home that could be something simple and easy. I didn't want to go too over the top with the whole, you know, round walls or the, all the objects, but I wanted to use something that showed and told a story. And like I put in like the high school diplomas on the wall of the Val Victorian and also, you know, the regular high school diploma. I want to be able to see what I can do with the high school pack when it comes to of uh, like, can you, you know, drop out? graduation, prom, the whole decorating your locker, joining clubs. Like I want to see all those things in my personal gameplay and also like in my let's play, because in my let's play, what's going to happen is I'm going to, I'm not going to use this house for my Sims, but it's going to be a house in the background, of course. But I want to see what it's like to get, um, detention. I want to see if I can get kicked out of high school. How fast can I, you know, get to run and like, you know, get out of uh, high school, like get dropped out, get expelled, whatever it is. Cause you know, I, I think that'd be a very funny thing to see in my game because I'm like, Sims can get detention now, which is great. Consequences could happen. But what I really want to know besides the whole, you know, dropping out and getting expelled from school, I want to see what it's like when you leave high school 
how is it affected when you go to university? Like what traits you get out of it, what, you know, wants and fears you get out of it, moodlets, um, et cetera, et cetera. So like, I want to definitely see how all these different packs tie in, especially get famous as well. Cause like you can be a, a live streamer on, on the internet, which is really cool and make money from it. You can also sell clothing and like all these other different stuff that I think is so wickedly awesome that I'm just like, wow. I'm literally blown away at the sheer like talent people have when it comes to creating stories, but also like executing them so well to make them make sense. Cause for me, I feel like I make stories that make no sense. It depends if I'm like sane that day, nine times out of the 10 I am, but mostly not so much, but you never really know where you're going to get in a spring Sims video or stream. But that's my story. That's my little Stimmy Sims. But I was watching how to get away with murder while making this build, which is kind of a weird show to watch while making a family oriented home in Copperdale, which is like a nice family oriented world. I feel like with secrets, cause there's so much lore. There's like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some drama between these households that I need to know. Like somebody might hate somebody and we just don't know until we actually play through the game. But I personally am so, so, so excited to kind of dive deep into this pack for my own personal fun, but show you all what's happening. And especially just kind of getting the nitty gritty of like prom graduation, um, the whole prom proposals, decorating my locker, even making my own high school, because I find like the high school is so gigantic and large that I want something so much smaller or like medium size that I can navigate and feel a bit more at home or making separate buildings on the same lot where it's all, you know, all the same thing, but you know, you go to different places here and there. You got your main hall, you got your auditorium, you got all the little different things you want to have. But regardless, I think that this home kind of came together in a sense, hopefully you kind of understood what my idea was and what I was kind of going off of. Because I think that with, with homes, when you're building something brand new with a brand new like pack or brand new build feature, it's kind of hard to show all of that. But Hopefully it came across very well. Hopefully it it made you feel happy to see a different build in a different world. But hopefully some down the line that they do fix like the lighting issue in Copperdale and also the round wall issue because that stuff is fun, but it's so buggy. But we'll figure it out later, later date. But let's go ahead and go into the real time tour of this video. Okay, so here's the home. Here's the lot. And I have to say for what it is, for how small it is, I am really, really proud of it. And I think you should too, because it's not that expensive, like maybe 53,000 simoleons, but you know, free real estate. It's a cheat. We love it. We use it all the time, but it's a two story, two bedroom, two bathroom home here in Copperdale. And it has basically all your necessities that you need. A nice secluded area in Copperdale. Like look at all these like scenery. You have, you're close to the carnival pier. Like you have all that to you, which is lovely. I mean, you also have like this nice little lake here. You can sit on this bench, walk and do a hike, talk to some townies, see the sights, touch some grass, breathe in the clear, nice crisp blue air, do all the things. But like I said, it's a two story, two bathroom home for like three, two to three Sims. Because one, I want to use all the new items that we had in the new pack, but also kind of make it really homey and like new and improve with new objects. Because the, the Sims that actually live here are from Sam Ashuno that moved to Copperdale. So they sold all their furniture from their apartment to kind of basically afford this new home. So they have a few of like their old things, like, you know, the cheer bomb, like blow horn thing, some backpacks, some beanbag chairs, some rugs even like their old toy box that they cannot get rid of their old guitar that they had back in the late 80s because the mom and the dad and like the teenagers that live here they love like music all the time and what I really love is that they have a transgendered uh daughter which is really really cute and amazing so I love this so much having in the pride flag is always like what I love to have in my sims games and all my builds to have more representation in the home but since they did live in the city and did not have a lot of money, I basically kept everything small and compact. So they have a small little living room with a small kitchen slash dining room. They don't have a lot of counter space to begin with. So I only gave them like a two seater like island setting, which giving them the option to sit in their living room to watch some TV. But what I love so much about this house is like, I love all the objects that came with it. Like the wicker bin over here, this lovely like two seater love seat here, this like nice 
waffle back chair. I don't know. I just like the general aesthetic of it all. It's kind of like my style and what I'm usually go for. So I would love to see more of this, but you know, of course in yellow, because I mean, all the objects themselves are just so cute. I love all the pillows, the accents, the decorations of it all are really cute. I also had to add in, you know, Womp Womp little mini, you know, mascot here with our lovely pop cart. Interesting. And since there are like technically two to three Sims that live here, the father is not really here all the time. He works so much. He's a salary person in Malcolm O'Reilly. So he works there a lot and has like a home over there too. You know, secrets, dramas, affairs, you know, those things. But they are very well educated. They went to Brightchester University at the top of their class, both in honors. But in high school, they have like, you know, their degrees, a high school diploma, and the ones with honors. And then they have a few other ones upstairs too. When I was starting to build this house, I kind of forgot to add in like enough space for a large enough bathroom to fit in, you know, a shower or a tub or anything. So I made this bathroom down here for like guests who can stay here or come here or hang out. But then upstairs, this was going to be like a streamer like corner, but I realized that was not going to happen because there was no way to like clean yourself so I turned this into a little bathroom area upstairs so there's no sink in here but you know you wash your hands wash your body you do all the things so that's there for the bathroom this is actually the teenager's bedroom which I really do love it has a lot of personality in it a lot of pink and blue and purple and yellow and tan and I really, really do like this a lot so much just because it has a streamer station. Like I said, this teenager is like a streamer and has like 30,000 followers on Instagram, which is really cool. So I gave him like a small little like streamer station over here, which I think is nice. Streamer's first computer. And technically that is their first computer. So it makes sense that it's like here. I have a nice little luxury dining to go chair with their classroom desk. And also like their door, like the door is so cool. All the different swatches on the door are like so nice. I'm in love. I love this one. I love all the photos on the back. But like each and every one of them have their own different style. And based on the style, it's kind of like what you want to decorate your Sims room as. Like, can we have more doors like this or have the ability to like decorate our doors in the future? Because like, let's say we have like this plain, you know, brown looking door. And we click on the door and it says customize door to your liking or to your style. And you have like all these different options to choose from. And the teenager, whoever like spray paints the door, that will be very cool. Decorating your door based on the objects you have. That would be nice. <laughs> but then over here is the like master parents bedroom. It's literally the same size as the kids room, but they don't got much money to begin with anyway, like I said. But this is the where the parents sleep and since Sims can actually scoot, I put the edge, I put the bed to the edge of the wall so they can scoot to one side or the other. It'll be perfectly fine. But they have another high school degree on honors over here. And then one was Valid Victorians. Somehow they stole like a fake high school diploma with valedictorian in it with honors to say that oh we're really cool we're, we, we have all these degrees and everything we're really like you no know, well-educated people but in reality they're not they're hiding they're hiding secrets they don't they tell lies papa lies papa i want more movie but like i said it's like your typical like you know high school jog cheerleader type of story they dated for a long time they had secrets love and affairs but one was not like the other but more so the mom was more level-headed than you know the father in a sense they were you know cheerleaders and they did all the things and they were in the chess club they were in the computer club they did football cheerleading they, they basically did everything um and the mother is actually a valedictorian but doesn't really tell people that she is for some odd reason i don't know why like you know tell your truth show your smarts show your strengths what you have you deserve those valedictorian honors so in a way they say this is fake but it's actually real but i have their desk over here and with their dresser and then outside on the side of the yard i made like a small little like backyard side yard action where they love to garden and they love barbecuing and like just chilling out outside to touch some grass see the people and kind of get that breath fresh air of bracy breeze i really also love this trash can that we got the rin tin bin which is different because it's, it's kind of like a simple design of a regular trash can you see you know in everyday life so using this one is like way better in the city or like in different parts of the world instead of having like this so this could be like recycling and this could be actual like trash trash you know even though we do have like a technical recycling bin from snowy escape i prefer like having these and this as like a generic you know recycling and trash bin when you're ever like you know 
keeping your house wholesome and nice. But either way, as always, I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below, as always, of what do you thought of today's build? Do you have the High School Years expansion pack or not? Are you waiting until more reviews come out? Because I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are of this pack. Now, so far for me, I actually like it so far for like build mode. Gameplay, I'm still like, you know, skeptical about because I haven't really discovered everything about it just yet. But soon enough, I will. And I cannot wait to show you in my Let's Play called Finding Yourself. But for the most part, I hope you all like it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!